OpenAI has just launched their very first browser, which they're calling ChatGPT Atlas. And as you might expect, ChatGPT is built in, but in addition to that, there are a ton of really cool features. First up, in terms of what you're gonna be able to do with this that is different than a typical browser, is you are gonna be able to ask with natural language about your own proprietary documents. Say for instance, if you're logged into Google Docs, you'll be able to access things in those particular documents, as well as ask instructions like being able to summarize, edit, or actually take actions on the website. Next up, in terms of the UX, so there is the home screen where you're going to be able to ask questions with natural language, but in terms of how they broke it out, so there is the home screen, there is the browser, so like the 10 blue links, so to speak, there are the images, there are videos, and then there are also news results. There is also sort of an augmented ChatGPT experience as a part of the browser, and when you click on any of the links, you'll immediately have that conversation history as a part of a way that you can interact with the different sites. Now, in addition to that, what you can do is as a part of having ChatGPT within the browser is say if you want to update the text within something like an email, like you see here, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you actually want to have the agent go and take the context of what's within a document or what's within on the page and go and take further actions, you can go ahead and do that. So here's an example where they're planning a haunted house party. And what it's doing is based on the guest list, we're going to go and we're going to search for a particular recipe. And then what it can actually do is it can get all of the ingredients from the page and then go on to Instacart and actually select and interact with the website from the browser actually clicking through and adding all of those relevant items that it came up with within the list like you see here. All in all, there's gonna be a ton of different ways on how people leverage this type of thing. Now, if you are interested in trying this out, it is available for Plus as well as Pro users. So you will have to have a paid account to try this out. And at time of recording, they are rolling this out to Mac OS with plans to release it to Windows users in the future. Let me know your thoughts within the comments below. Will you be using a browser like this? Otherwise, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.